Good morning everybody. Um, hope you're fit and well. Uh, this is a little uh, sample exercise for my seated clients. If I don't know you, you perhaps need to have a conversation with me before you do this um, routine so that we make sure it's the right one for you and any modifications you're aware of. Uh, <clears throat> if if uh, you have any concerns about your ability to do this and your health then you should seek medical advice which we know is difficult in these circumstances or please speak to me so um, I'm advising you to do that before you do anything who's who's come in hello Mandy hi nice to see you this is a seated one today because the body needs to still move even if you find difficulty uh, moving around standing on your pins so this is a little bit of a seated one um, uh, make sure you've got a little bit of area around you and you're on a chair that's not on a slippy surface it's quite stable you haven't got it half on and half off so I'll just let you get there it's no equipment this morning it's just a simple sort of movement really and a little bit of a breath I want you just to find the length through your body make sure your feet are flat on the floor if you can if you need to and you've got little legs I've got little legs put your put yourself put your feet on a cushion or something like that just so you've got a little bit it's a better position for your knees Anybody else finding things in the bottom of the freezer they forgot they had? We'll have a bit like that this morning. <laughs> okay, so we're going to sit down nice and tall through the body here. I want you to just wiggle your bottom to try and make sure that you've got your weight 50-50 now. So the weight should be here. Otherwise, what happens is that you slope over to one side. And you can see this side is sort of uh, shortening. This, uh, this side is shortening. One side is lengthening. So we want to be as tall as we can. Weight 50-50. Okay, lengthen up, legs down. I want you to find the length through your spine. And the way I want you to do that, I want you to put your hand on your chest, please. So I'm going to turn from the side so you can see. So from here, when we sit in a chair all day, what happens is these muscles become tight. The shoulders become sort of slopy and rounded because they're overextended. So what I want you to do is sit up straight, hand on your chest, and then take a deep breath in, feel the weight of the hand and then lift up like a phoenix rising from the ashes. Up we come and then come back down again. So you're just getting the back starting to work here, lifting up. If you have um, things like stenosis, you don't want to be an extension, but you want to make sure you are lengthening nice and tall. Slumpiness isn't helping uh, anybody. It does sort of make it sometimes a little bit uh, more comfortable but that's not always the way we want our muscles to work so we just do that twice more so lifting that breastbone up as high as you can you are a phoenix rising from the ashes and that allows the shoulders to move away so when you're like this the shoulders are here what we want is the shoulders to slide back and down so that we've got space between the ears and the shoulders space between the ears and the shoulders who else have we got here Zaya hi Zaya hi how lovely to hear, have you here as well seated one today okay so from there you're being as tall as you can be up here I want you to find that length through the neck we we'll let the hands go down by the sides of us and now I want you just to breathe in as wide and full as you can into the sides of your body the clue is where the rib cages are they're not up here they're down there so breathe sideways in and as you exhale for Pilates, we pull up the pelvic floor. So the pelvic floor runs from the back passage to the front passage. I want you to lift that. I call it north and south. So you take a breath in, feeling that wide, full breath in, expanding, using your respiratory muscles. We can do this with the hands, which gives us a visual aid. And as you exhale, you feel the pelvic floor lift. Inhale again, feel your expansion wide and full into the rib cage, and as you exhale, pick up the pelvic floor and draw the navel back to the spine at the same time. Can we do that a couple more times, please? Take a deep breath in and exhale. So now we're going to try and find the relativity. So take a big breath in as wide and full as you can. And as you exhale, breathe out through your mouth. Push the air out. Exhale, exhale, exhale. And you can feel, you can hear the change in my voice as my transverse abdominus, the belt-like muscle, kicks in. Inhale again. And exhale. Halve that now. So you're going at 50%. 50%, but you're still blowing out as if you've got a straw in your mouth and you're blowing out through the straw. Inhale again, and now we're going to blow out, and it's half of that, so it's just about 25 to 30 percent. So, all I'm asking you to is engage these muscles, not grip or squeeze, so you can't move or speak. 
Okay, we're going to take another breath in again. Keep it at that 30%. When you're drawing up and in, I say to my clients, imagine holding a blueberry up your bottom. You don't want to squash it, but you just want to hold it. Okay, so we'll do a couple more breaths in. Inhale as you breathe wide, wide and full into the rib cage, and exhale as you breathe out tightening the abdominals and lifting the pelvic floor. We've got two more. Who's that? Donna. Hiya, Donna. Nice to see you. This is just about breathing in a seated position. Inhaling. So again, clue is in the rib cage. Let the expansion occur here. And as you exhale, just draw up. And it's an, an engagement, not a grip or a squeeze. A grip would mean to me 100%. A squeeze is 50 but an engagement it's just about the amount of effort it would take me to switch on a light. That's all you're doing is switching on your abdominals. So that keeps you nice and strong all the way through. We let the hands come down. We take the shoulders up to the ears and we allow the shoulders to slide back and down. And you can see I'm creating space between my ears and my shoulders. We take a breath in. And as we exhale, we allow those shoulders to come back and down. We'll do that a couple more times. We take the shoulders up to the ears and we allow the shoulders to slide back and down. So most of the time, people's shoulders are quite rounded like this. So what we want are the shoulders are to come around the corners. It's almost like they're coming around the corners and coming back down. So they may be a bit like this. Let them come back down and that will help ease off any of the tension this way. Let's take a deep breath in now. So we're now we're bringing movement to the breath. Inhale through the nose. And as you exhale, lower those hands and just make sure you keep that engagement through the core. Ladies and gents, you know what I'm talking about if I say that you've got your bits on the chair. Make sure you're lifting them away from the chair as we're breathing. Imagine you're going to have a damp patch on the chair, so we don't want any of that. So just hold everything up and it's just an engagement, but the shoulders are relaxed. The beauty in Pilates is that we try and focus on the power and the control through here, but that the shoulders are quite relaxed. So we're flowing those hands up and then we're bringing those hands back down. We're lifting and opening the chest slightly, hands going slightly behind you. So I'm bringing in the back muscles and play as well in here. Inhale and exhale again. OK, we're going to do that one more time. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Let's go to the side a bit like an angel now. So we take the arms behind us and then squeeze those shoulder blades together. So the action of your shoulder blades is this. They're coming to and from. Take a deep breath in. We're swinging them away and now we're squeezing them together. So we really are working the back muscles. But what happens to your stomach is that it wants to poke out. So we want to keep that engagement through the core to make sure that doesn't happen. Take a deep breath in. And now as we bring in the effort, for you breathe out through the mouth. We'll do that again twice more. Inhale and exhale as we come back down. On the very last time, take a deep breath in. And exhale. Let's bring those hands up and place them on the shoulders, please. So remember, you're being as tall as you can be. Your weight is 50-50, so we haven't got um, as in asymmetrical sides, and your pelvic floor is engaged. We're going to take a deep breath in here. Elbows meet in the centre. They go all the way up around the side of the head and come back around. So what we're looking for is an range of movement. If you have any shoulder issues and this is causing you pain, this is not the exercise for you. As my lovely friend Debbie Knight says, not every exercise is for everybody. So we want to keep the body going. Okay, we'll just do three more the other way. Take the elbows behind you and come back up. And we'll do two more. And we'll do one more. Lovely. Thank you so much for joining me. Let those arms come down and just shake it all about. Thank you very much. Have a really good day, everybody. It's nice and sunny out there. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Julie. Nice to see you. Lovely, Annette. Great. I enjoyed the sessions with you guys this morning. I've got another one again in a moment, but more for Matt. Um, and uh, look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye bye, everybody. Have a great day. Hi, Sally. Hi, Sally. It's a seated one this morning, but I'm looking at an 80s, 70s, 80s dance one. So I shall bring you in on that one. OK, thank you. Bye bye.